tomorrow is my surgery they told me well they called me today and said that i have to be in beverly hills at 8 15 in the morning i feel like i've been waiting for this day my whole life i've always wanted to have big boobs when i was breastfeeding my boobs got huge but then they went away and i feel like they shrunk even smaller i felt like my nipples even got smaller so um super excited um i'm trying not to think about it too much because i don't want to psych myself out if I die, I die, which I don't think I'm going to die. But, you know, when you, they have you sign the papers, you're just letting it sink in. And you're just like, what the fuck? Am I really getting myself into this shit just because I want to have chi-chis? But, yes, I am really getting into this shit because I really want chi-chis. They gave me some directions prior to the surgery day. For example, um, they want to make sure that your nails are clear so that they're able to see your nail beds. Um, I heard that that's for when you're under anesthesia and they want to make sure that you have enough oxygen. I could be wrong. Same goes for my toes, so they look crusty as fuck right now. They made me buy a bra at Target, like the ones that zip up in the front. Well, you don't have to go to Target, but I went to pick up a prescription because they prescribed me um, some meds. So I got this bra. I got it in a medium size. This one was, I think it was like 20 something dollars, which is kind of pricey. If you can find it somewhere else for cheaper, that would be great. But you know me, I always leave everything to the last one. They said I need to be wearing chanclas for tomorrow. Sweats and a loose fitted sweater. This isn't what I'm going to wear, but. And then the three medications that they prescribed me. This is an amend capsule. So this is an expensive ass pill. And um, this was $124 for one pill. I don't even know what it looks like. I'm supposed to take this two hours before surgery. And this is for the nausea. Because you know how after you you're like you get put on anesthesia. Um some people tend to get really nauseous, so... Oh shit, this is kind of big. This is what it looks like, and it's 40 mg's. I'm really hoping that this works. I have a phobia of throwing up, so... I just don't want to feel sick. I don't want to feel like I'm pregnant again. I just don't want to go through that. And then they prescribed me some Norco, so, you know, I'm going to be lit tomorrow. And some antibiotics, so that way you don't get an infection. I'll get into like detail tomorrow because right now I actually have to shower. I can't wear any jewelry, I can't wear any lotion, no makeup, nothing in the hair. Like literally, you have to go bare as fuck. So they told me that in the shower I have to wash myself with antibacterial hand soap which would be dial i love dial anyway so that's one thing i always have in my shower not in my shower but in my bathroom um let's see what else i'm trying to think oh and i'm not supposed to eat anything after 12 o'clock um midnight up until the morning for surgery they told me the surgery is going to be 45 minutes long, but to prepare for a five-hour day. And Emmanuel's going with me tomorrow. My mom's watching the baby right now. I just, I'm trying to be as casual as possible about the surgery, which is why I haven't been talking about it. Because I don't want to make it into like this big thing and then psych myself out about it. You know what I mean? Let me just kind of show you guys a little before of what I look like. This is with the bombshell bra by Victoria's Secret. This is like the only bra that I like to wear. Because if I don't wear this padded ass bra, like, I have no boob. Look. Look how flat I am. 
like a tabla note. So, I am going a small C because I don't want to go that big either. And if I do decide to go bigger in the future, um, that's something I'm going to take into consideration, but not right now. And then I have an extension in my hair. You guys know I wear chode ass extensions. I have really nice towels that I use and they're all dirty. And on the day that I film, of course, I'm going to have the fucked up towel. This was actually the towel that I had in my vlog when I was pregnant. Remember that vlog where I was sick? This is the same exact towel. You know what's funny but is actually crazy? I've been doing my research on breast augmentations for about two and a half years now. No, maybe not two and a half, like two years. And then I had gotten pregnant and stuff, so I, I obviously was prioritizing my um, pregnancy. I wanted to have a baby. I put the breast augmentation um, on hold. I've been to so many fucking consultations to find the right doctor because I want my boobs to be perfect. I'm not gonna put on any lotion because I'm literally supposed to go bare as fuck. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put product in my hair really quick. Earlier, I thought I was gonna get sick. This is the second time that I eat Cheesecake Factory and then I get home wanting to throw up. And I was like, wow, knowing my look, of course I would get sick a day before my surgery. I've been through a childbirth before, so I mean, how bad could this be? I'm not trying to underestimate it because everybody tolerates pain different, but I'm just staying positive, whatever. I can handle whatever life throws at me. I hate when there's like nothing to eat. And I'm always like, there's nothing to eat, but there's like a shitload of stuff in here to eat. I guess I can eat like a pan con peanut butter. I don't know. Oh, I have edamame. I guess I can warm one of these up. I love these because it's a healthy snack with lots of protein. And they're so yummy. Boy, I was our life. I stole this from my neighbor's tree. Well, actually, I think it was a manual. I'm not sure. I just found it in my kitchen. But if you have guayabas in your house, it smells up the whole house. When you're trying to keep it with Bane, they dog you out. Why is this the last day you're gonna see me? Because what if I die? Oh, you're not gonna die, babe. You're freaking annoying. <laughs> you look sexy. You look sexy. What are you eating? It's already past 12, man. Are you this? No. Why are you recording? Huh? Why are you recording? Did you get high? I love when you smoke because you're just a different person, you know? <laughs> you're not uptight, Emmanuel. I'm not uptight. You smell good. I love when you wash your hair and you smell long. Mm. Why do you smell good? I still love when your hair was longer. Babe, I do like the longer hair, babe. Yeah? I don't mind you like this though, because you still look hot. It's, it's like a different look, but I miss your long hair. You had it like up to like here. Well, with my extension? No, with your extensions? No, without your extensions. Well, it was like right here, huh? No, it was a little shorter. Shorter than mm -hmm. that? Yeah, like no, about there. No, you're tripping. It was longer. Really? Yeah, it was longer. It'll grow bad. And your hair was long. It needs to come out. It needs to come out like this. It was good. You feel all fresh right now, huh? Like my stomach's really empty and I don't know exactly what time my surgery is up, but my arrival time is 8.15. Like 
and since we live kind of far from Beverly Hills, babe, we should have stayed out there. But still, I hate fasting. Like, especially because I've been really weak. Like, I feel weak as fuck right now. Regardless, you weren't supposed to eat. And then when I wake up early, I get super hungry. Like, I need to eat like a burrito. That's how, that's how hungry I get. Huh? Dude, I trip on how you're a morning person, how you wake up like with a big ass smile. Like he wakes up like at 5 in the morning every day. And is ready to start the day. And I'm not. So the road is 2 hours and 9 minutes away. I love it. I love it. Something Bedford. What is it? Something Bedford. All throughout elementary school, middle school, some high school. Middle school, the middle school that I went to, they were savage as fuck. Tell a story that, like, that guy that, that rejected you because you had no food. Oh, yeah. I remember. And you know what? He probably fucking, he probably watches my videos now, so. I'm just kidding. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. The last time I talked to him was when I was in sixth grade. So <laughs> I don't remember. There's this guy. No, I have already told this story in my other vlog. Yeah. So I told you guys this story before. So I used to like this guy in sixth grade, and he didn't like me back because I was flat chested. And all throughout middle school, I used to always wear oversized sweaters. Not even oversized sweaters, but just sweaters, so that way I can cover like my boobs because people would call me out. And they would be like, you have no boobs. Like, oh, thank you for letting me know that I'm flat chested. You don't think I know that I have a flat chest? Thank you for letting me know. A lot of girls weren't uh, desarrolladas at that time. Like, I'm in seventh grade. I guess I was just like a late bloomer. Um, actually, I wasn't even a late bloomer. That shit didn't bloom at all. So I've struggled with this for my whole life. And especially because I love to wear extravagant things and extravagant dresses and stuff I've been holding back from wearing extravagant dresses because there's nothing there Like and a lot of people are always like no, but you have boobs and I'm like no, it's just my bra Like I only rock the Victoria's Secret bombshell which brings you up two cup sizes in padding There's videos of me when I was a little girl me and Ani we would film videos or whatever and I would talk about, oh, I just got my breast implants done. Like, what the fuck? I looked back at it and I was like, oh my god. Like, I've been waiting since I was like seven to get my chichis done. Okay, so I'll take you guys through the process at the same time that I tell Emmanuel. So, oh fuck. <laughs> they took me in there and they already had like patients that were waking up. And I was like, this bitch is scaring me right now. Cause she was like, can you give me my homeopathic thing to put in my hand so I don't get nauseous? And I was like, are you okay? She was like, yeah. She's like, she, no, she was like, I don't know, I just woke up. And I was like, oh. I was like, you got your boobs done? She was like, yeah. And I was like, oh shit. <laughs> And then they had me sign papers. What? That was before your surgery? Mm -hmm. She was telling you this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then they like laid me down on the bed. And the people in there, the nurses were really cool. Yeah, she was like, really Like she cool. was so nice to me. Am I fucking stopping or what the fuck? And then I got in. They took me into the room and they were explaining the anesthesia or whatever. I was like... I didn't even notice they put it in my IV. She was like, okay, you're gonna start to feel a little bit tired. And then it kind of felt like I was on a Norco. And I don't even remember nothing. I just fucking... Knocked out? Knocked out. Did you, you remember feeling sleepy though? I just remember feeling lit. Damn. And then I fell asleep and then I woke up and I was like... Where am I? Uh, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> just like that? Yeah. <laughs> And then I was like, I need a margarita. <laughs> I'm out of surgery already. I need a margarita. 
And she's like, you can't have any margaritas. <laughs> and that's when I told her, I was like, I make really good margaritas. She's like, oh, you're going to have to bring me one. The same lady? Yeah. And then she told her friend. <laughs> that's the first thing you said when you woke up? Yeah. But right now I'm like in pain. She gave me two doses of pain medication because it really hurts. Yeah. What hurts your boobs? Mm -hmm. My chest. Like it's almost like a pulsing pain. Am I twitching? I didn't want to like tell my mom like, oh, I love you guys, you know, because I was like, I'm not going to die. I felt like I would psych myself out if I started writing like death notes, you know what I mean? I kept her in, in the loop though. Oh, you did? I know she was worried. why they give you these things to throw up in like so it can like it looks like a plato de calo or something I don't get it I'd rather throw up in a bag or something I came to the ER because on the way home I wasn't feeling good I'm in so much pain it's like piercing pain they said I was fine my blood pressure is low I can't even fucking really talk I have to breathe really low and they said they were gonna bring me food because I'm hungry I'm waiting for these pain meds, but they fucking lag it here. Fuck, I showed you a little bit. This is post-op day one. I am so fucking sore. Like, I can't move. It's like a different kind of pain than yesterday. I stopped vlogging midday. Because after I got out of recovery, I was in recovery for about an hour at the actual place. And then when we were leaving, I was telling Emmanuel that I wasn't feeling good at all. My fingertips started going numb as well as my feet. So I didn't know if that was normal or not. And my vision was like going black. So usually when that happens, you are going to pass out because I've passed out before. And then we went to the ER. I'm not the type to like ever go to the ER unless I'm like pregnant or something's wrong. But my pain was like excruciating. It was really bad. And I needed someone to like get me out of the car. Because when I woke up from the anesthesia, like I was good. I was like, oh shit, that wasn't that bad at all. Cause in my head, I'm kind of like everybody gets their boobs done. So it's not gonna hurt but I thought totally wrong. I kind of felt like if I knew this was gonna hurt this bad, I probably wouldn't have done it because of how inconvenient the pain is. Obviously, I don't really handle pain that well. So anyways, we went to the hospital and um, they were taking forever to take me inside. They finally took me inside. They were asking questions about how, about how bad my pain was. And I was like at a 9 or 10. And I was trying so hard to like hold my tears back the whole time. And especially because like the, the nurse that was helping me out was like a student. So I was being really patient with her because she was like being trained at the same time. And she was really taking a long time like trying to give me my pain meds. 
the doctor said that everything was normal that's normal like after anesthesia and normal after surgery so I wasn't dying but it really felt like I was dying I've never felt that much pain before um, labor is kind of a different pain than this no dude whatever Weenie. and after like you just feel so much pressure on your chest like I literally felt this much room to like breathe I don't know how to explain it like if you were to put like six textbooks on your chest that's what it feels like like I get really short of breath but I guess I feel kind of a little bit better than yesterday although I'm just really fucking sore and you have to sleep sitting up so I woke up about six times last night so I didn't really sleep right and I can't do anything like I can't put on my seatbelt by myself I couldn't open the door by myself and you're not allowed to shower but I had to wash my badge because that's just kind of nasty so I got in the bathtub and Emmanuel helped me you need help to change like you're pretty much like helpless and even though you like I was thinking that I was going to be able to still do everything I was like no no, no I'm straight like I'm, I can do everything myself but it's really different once you're there it sucks oh yeah when they gave me morphine it was my first time getting morphine yesterday and it took about an hour for it to officially kick in because he gave it to me that shit was crazy like my whole body got like tensed up like hard my neck lines were like it felt like that and I was like my neck is really stiff he's like that's normal that's normal just let it kick in I felt like a drug addict then they gave me another pain medication they gave me Zofran and I was able to leave oh it was just so painful yesterday so fucking painful Oh no. Vas a hacer cebollas también? My mom is making hamburgers currently. El qué? Oh, you make the bacon out here? Como que se están quemando. No te preocupes, yo sé por funcionar. Acuérdate que trabajé en la noche. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I'm not afraid of this. O sea, como 800 hamburgers. I don't know how I did it. Like in 40 minutes. I know it smells good. I probably shouldn't be out here because then I'm gonna smell like smoke and no me puedo bañar today. I'm currently on an orco right now, so my pain isn't that bad. But I still can't really do much. My boobs are so sore. You can't see my boobs right now. Again, I didn't go that big. You can kind of see in here. I still kind of have like this stuff on it. And it smells really weird. It's that brown stuff that they use before surgery. I don't know what it's called. What is that stuff called que te ponen before surgery? Uh, in español es desinfectante, in English es... No me acuerdo, peroxide? No, eh? I don't know. It's so you don't get an infection though, huh? Yeah, no me acuerdo cómo se llama. 
and I get really short of breath still. But after I took the um, painkiller, I felt so much better. I'm kind of sleepy right now too and hungry. Yeah, no more coffee. No more lager, ya. Yeah. It's already coming. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hi, Wayne. Lo tiro. I don't know. I think it's like in his toes or something. Oh, shit. <laughs> Ay, yes, so he knows it's recording. That's why. I think he wants me to hold him. Do you want me to hold you? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Today is second day post-op. I'm still in pain. It's not as excruciating as it was the first day. It's still a little hard for me to breathe. And I get really tired talking. I just took my antibiotics right now. I'm gonna wait about an hour to take my pain meds because she told me not to take them both at the same time or else I'll probably get nauseous and throw them up and I do not want that. I'm gonna sit and watch Netflix. I miss the baby so much. I told my mom to bring him. Emmanuel said he was gonna watch him today because she's been taking care of him these past two days. right here reminds me of when I was pregnant because there's been a few times where I've gotten really nauseous and I felt like I was gonna throw up but I haven't thank God <laughs> <laughs> 